One of the most powerful things I is when parents uh, will talk to me about like just concern for their kids and and um, you know they've raised them in the faith and in Christ and in the church and and man and, and maybe they've just fallen away and, and maybe that's been your experience um, and, and so I want you to know you're in good company. Uh, Saint Paul uh, in Romans talks about his love for his people, right, the Jewish people, and um, you know who. You know, many of them had rejected Christ, uh, that that hope, and, and and just they were just they wanted nothing to do with it. And, and look at his heart. Look at what Paul says in Romans nine two and three. He says, um, "I have great sorrow, and unceasing anguish in my heart, for I wish that I myself were accursed and cut off." from Christ for the sake of my brothers, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. And we know from verse 4, if we were to keep going, that these, they are Israelites. And to them belongs the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, the promises. And, and so what he's saying is like they have this rich heritage. Like God sent Jesus to die for them. Now, Jesus said, you know, there's other sheep in the, in the sheep end. So he was talking about non-Israelites, non-Jewish, uh, you know, people that would come to believe that he was there for them too. And, and it, just, it just grieves Paul. I'm sure it grieves God's heart that, that these people that, that he raised up, that, that he cared for, that he gave life to, that he gave a name to, right? The name of Israel. That, that they would turn their backs on him is heartbreaking. That they wouldn't want nothing to do with them. And, and look at Paul's heart. Paul's like, man, I, I wish that it was me. Like, I wish I could, I wish I could kind of take take the hit for them. If it meant that they could be, if, if that were possible. Well, and we know it's not. But but he's showing his heart, like like this is why he does what he does. It's why Paul will say in, in other places that, you know, um, it, when he's with a Jewish person, he's going to be, you know, he's going to connect in that way. If he's with someone who's not Jewish, he's going to connect in that way. He's like, I'm going to be all things to all people. No matter who it is, I'm going to make sure I connect because I want them to know Christ. I don't want them to live uh, in darkness or, or to be far from God at all or ever be separated. No, 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 instead, he wants them to know what he says elsewhere in Romans, that nothing will separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord, that in Christ we are saved, we are forgiven, we are free. And so he doesn't rest, and, and I think he, he, he's calling us to not rest until, 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 until people know who he is, who God is, and what he has done. This sacrifice, this love, this, this forgiveness that He has won for all of us, that we would embrace that and that we would know that and that everyone would know that. And so we trust Him and we, and we give all those situations into His hands and we roll up our sleeves and we have at it, all right? So let's, let's do that. Let's get out there. Let's, let's share this, this truth by how we live and, and, and as we get into conversations. Uh, that God is going to do some incredible things, all right? I'm Pastor Fred. This is The Follow Through. Hit that subscribe button, share this with somebody, and we'll talk to you next week. As we, We're going to be in VBS all week next week. Really excited. It's called Stellar. I invite you uh, and your family get get involved, and uh, we'll see you then. Take care.